right, so next up we are talking about the flex property. So not display flex, but this is a property that actually goes on the individual flex item. So a quick review, we've got these containers here, which that's our flex container. And then each one of these things inside of here, those are flex items. Uh, so I switched up the just the content inside of them a little bit just to show you like this stuff works with uh, different amounts of content. It's it's kind of nice to see some words that are longer than others. And I just put some emojis in there so we can have fun. Uh, so we need to go ahead and select each one. And the property that we want is the flex property. Now I'm going to show you how to use flex with uh, just one single value first. Uh, and then we're going to break it down into flex grow, flex drink, and something called flex basis. So uh, what does flex do? Well, uh, it essentially answers the question, what do I do with this extra space? Or what do I do when I don't actually have enough space? Because the, the whole point of Flexbox is that uh, it's not going to break your layout if you have too much space or not enough space. Uh, it will sort of just do, it'll kind of intelligently figure out where everything needs to go. So uh, what I want to do right now is like, Let's take a look here. What have I done? I just said display flex and I got our items and the width of your flex items by default is what's called auto and it's just the width of the content inside of them. Now, if I go ahead and say flex one on there and refresh, you'll see that each of the flex items, regardless of how much content they have, they are all taking up the exact amount of space. So that answers what flex is, is flex is uh, at what proportion should I scale myself up or down when we have extra space or not enough space? Now, because I gave all of them a flex property of one, remember that we're talking about when we don't have any flex on right here, we're talking about the additional space left on over or when we get smaller, how, how they scale down together. I'll talk about that in a second. So when I say flex one, we're saying that each of you should divvy up the remaining space proportionately, and that's why they are all the same size. However, now if I go ahead and say box two and give it a flex property of two, watch what happens to this one right here. You see that it is twice the size of all the other ones, and why is that? Well, we said when there is extra space, or when there is not enough space, we'll look at that in a second, Box two should have double the amount of all the other ones. This flex two is just overriding uh, the flex one of this previously set. So that's great. And when I resize, watch what happens. So at a certain point, if I take all these off real quick, at a certain point, right about here, we're, we're going to move from too much space, too much extra, to not enough. And that's the other thing that Flexbox does is, yeah, it's great when you have extra space, but what happens when there is not enough space there? So let me put that back on here. And here, let me show you what it looks like when it's just Flex 1. Just they're all evenly uh, divvied up. But when I give Box 2 a Flex value of 2, it says, all right, I'm extra hungry. I'm an extra hungry pizza div here, and I want to eat up twice as much of the extra room as the rest of you. Now, uh, flex properties, they can be decimal points. Uh, if I were then to move dot box five into flex three, you'll see that now box five takes up three times the amount of room as something that's still flex one. So it's all in proportion. It's not pixels, it's not percentage, anything like that. We'll be looking at that in just a second. However, it's all about how much of the extra space on that line. We'll look at a multi-line example as well in just a second. How much of the extra space or when there's not enough space, how do we divvy that up amongst all of my siblings that we have here? <laughs>